नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन डूइंग एक्सरसाइज एंड वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग स्टेप टू ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन स्टर्डे भैया जस्ट आई जस्ट वांट टू शेयर वन इंसिडेंट दैट टू प्लेस इन द कॉलेज यस्टरडे आई हैड अप्लाइड फॉर एन एफडीपी व्हिच इज ऑनलाइन फॉर जस्ट थ्री डेज फॉर थ्री आवर्स Since I am in the admission committee, though the head of the institution has given me permission, but one member in the admission committee objected it, stating that you are in the admission committee and if you are attending an FDP, it won't be nice. It will uh, disturb the admission like that. One member in the admission committee raised an issue. Then the head of the institution said, when someone is objecting, it is better to drop like that. the head of the institution suggested but i i am not able to accept that proposal so i am was having a feeling of opposition towards that member that is clearly visible to me it was haunting me so i thought let me raise the issue then i was analyzing also as you said bhaiya what is the purpose of doing that ftp when i was analyzing this question within myself i am unable to resolve because i am not sure whether that is the ego that is preventing me to not accept the fact or is it really i just wanted to know it is about the national education policy 2020 essence transition program so is it that really i want to know the contents or am i doing the program for certificate so all these three possibilities are there but i am unable to resolve within myself ji bhaiya जी on some other tasks when the admission mm. has started and they have not fulfilled their responsibility properly and it may be the case that the committee had to suffer mm -hmm. so get in dialogue with that person and if it is only a 3 hour fdp for 3 days then maybe you will get some other occasion also to attend so on such occasions we need to understand the concern of the other it also may be the mm -hmm. case that the other is opposed to you but the way you shared uh, i think the possibility is that he or she is more concerned about the admission process and one may feel that you are not available at the time when you are needed this could be one concern so generally mm -hmm. admission is a very high priority for the colleges because they survive due to admission and mm -hmm. like if you are permitted to go on an ftp somebody may say that i have to you know Go for some other task and give your examples. That if you can be yeah, permitted, yeah. I, yeah. Now this is a common yes, scenario. Yes. So, for example, we can see in our institutions also when somebody asks for some kind of special provision, <clears throat> then mm -hmm. we try to generalize it and see that if you are permitted, then how can I say no to others? Mm -hmm. Because how many FDP is more important and attending to somebody's health is less important. Okay, or Uh, attending a function is less important so a blatant rule blatant rule is made that nobody will go on leave or nobody will be given some kind of you know provision like this this is possible mm -hmm. so this is possible so in place of getting opposed we'll try to feel for the other what the concern of the other person may be and then look into those possibilities and if possible get in dialogue with that person and just listen to what he or she has to say it also may be the case that other is opposed or the other is envious of you all the possibilities are also there right mm -hmm. and i was thinking like that only ah, they are jealous of that mm. yeah but you have to first see the concern of the other mm. so these are some common issues maybe like what happens now when you uh, follow some rule then it has to be generalized okay mm -hmm. maybe that means that you are working more in the admission committee you are staying you know for late hours and doing some extra work mm -hmm. but when it mm -hmm. comes to giving you some provision 
it has to be something common to everyone nobody can be given some special provision ji so, ji that is there ji ji okay okay thank you bhaiya i got the other side of the scene bhaiya ji thank you so much i i see to that uh, i am not creating an any issue by doing that fdp bhaiya i will drop that maybe no, no, next occasion i will register yeah just try to see the concern of the other and tell the other that you know assuming that this has been your concern i am not going but i don't think it was so important or whatever you may like to share you may share but on mm. such task many times you no know, uh, some uh, this kind of rules are made that nobody will give in some mm. special provision yeah namaste so i also wanted to share an incident with that i i will just um try to take, find out whether i have been able to see the feeling or still some thought basis so uh, day before yesterday like um, sunday uh, my one of our relatives uh, my wife's aunt passed away few days back and then they had a bhog ceremony on sunday so she just asked me that okay i will go and uh, if if you will like to go or i i will go alone it's enough then i said no it's sunday so i can always go and i again i also compared although it was not like that uh, choice but then i said that okay because sunday what i will do here and she is going alone and it's my our relatives so i also felt about her and then we 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 started the journey sunday early morning and what happened the train was little late and uh, Uh, then i was i could see the feeling that okay it's okay it's late now we can't do anything and then it was in announced also that because of some certain accident on sarhand uh, junction so it will be diverted through chandigarh to saharanpur and all that so <laughs> that that journey became very long way yeah chandigarh uh, normally from ludhiana to chandigarh takes 2 hours so it took 4 hours and it was a non ac Uh, 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 compartment. So it was all going through that means again we were uh, uh, means comparing. It was comparison was going on that whether we sh- should have come or not. But then I always thought that that it's an opportunity to meet the relatives also because you know that uh, these are the occasion only when we meet each other. And then there was a concern about uh, uncle also that he was very nice and then. Uh, his wife passed away so it was an opportunity where we, i kept on exploring and my wife also it's hot uh, it's hot it's weather is very hot on this in this part of india we all know that so it took uh, on 7 hours uh, to reach there it was a 4 hour journey and similarly when we started back the same happened because that junction was closed so again it got diverted and 7 hours again and we reached back at 3 am in the morning so it was a test of the body also so uh, but it was a nice way yeah. i could see that uh, the yes body was getting tired but then with the right feeling that okay it's now uh, there are so many people like us also there and uh, we could see that we reached here and then i slept only for 2 hours 3:30 i slept and then 5:30 because morning session i had to join i got an alarm and i got up and then i always um, shared with you that's an admission season uh, i could get the uh, uh, summer break all teachers on some break but then i felt with the feeling of responsibility because i am also heading the admission <laughs> committee like geeta didi said so I, i even i did not think that okay because some vacation going on with two hours sleep uh, i found that okay it's a test also whether i could carry on with my body body is an instrument so i instructed the body to get up on time and then i went to the college also and even during the evening i did a lot of housework also it was just pending because sunday we went there so i got the grocery etc also but then i slept on time right 9:30 and then i got up again at 5 am and so was an opportunity me and my wife spent so much time together <laughs> otherwise we don't get it we remain calm so this is what i wanted to share with you this is means Uh, <laughs> uh, I wanted to say that you got so much of time to spend with wife. Uh, that is 
something that you could have taken as an opportunity. Yes, yes. So yes. there are occasions like the way you mentioned that the train got diverted and it took long to yes. reach the destination. So one thing like we generally get anxious on such occasions. But if you are able to see that yes, now this is what it is, then I will accept it. Unless there is something which is unethical, which is violating relationship with human or the rest of nature, and I can see that things have got changed in this manner. So I accept it, yes. Now I'll try to utilize that opportunity. Yes, this, this is Either. what happened. This is what happened, and uh, this was a great opportunity to test your body also. And even wife also said that, okay, man. Then we said that, okay, it's, it's okay. She also accepted it very nicely because I was also very calm. So it, it hit. We, such an occasion, if one gets irritated, then the other also can get. So I, I felt that, okay, if I, then we both remained calm and we accepted it and it was very nice journey. And then even I asked her that, okay, if, if we would have come, we should, no, he, she said again, meeting the relative was very nice. So this is nothing that, okay, it's just a, and we were thinking about the drivers also who got injured. Um, uh, we, we, we heard that. And the two drivers of the trains got seriously injured. So we're thinking about them also, that it is nothing that we are, again, this is just a body uh, ache or like that, but they have suffered a lot of injuries. So we were, I was thinking that feeling of concern for the drivers also in between. Yeah, yeah. In fact, someone uh, who used to celebrate in Savan and go for some, uh, like kind of pilgrimage kind of thing uh, during the summer is to tell me that such occasions are meant to let one feel that one can survive in such odd situations also with minimum facilities. Mm -hmm. So if we pass through such situations in life where we have less facilities than expected and there are some unprecedented events taking place, then also if we are comfortable, that tests you as well as assures you that you can be comfortable in odd situations also. So you yes. can take such situations also you know, as an opportunity. Yes, it was very nice. Thank you, Bhia. Thank you to all. Nice, Bhia. Yes, any other question or sharing? So this is the assignment that we took yesterday. Try to be aware. This is the same assignment that we had taken day before. Try to be aware of your imagination, particularly the feeling in the imagination at every moment. Evaluate the feeling that you have at any moment. Is it naturally acceptable to you? Do you want to continue with the feeling or do you want to come out of it? In this manner, we need to evaluate the feeling every moment and note our observations. So, we had started discussing step two of exercise one. In exercise one, I am trying to observe myself. The self is observing the self, or in other words, consciousness is observing the consciousness. And there are seven steps in exercise one. In step one, we try to observe the imagination as it is, the desire, thought, and expectation as it is, without evaluating, without reacting, without judging, without imposing, without fixing. You know, just naturally observing the way it is and in the imagination we can see the thing to observe is primarily the feeling part if i can see the feeling then i can also see my thought and expectation clearly we also discuss some of the problems while observing the imagination and we could see that if one is not able to observe the imagination naturally then one can start by observing the object of imagination then see the thought associated with it and then see the feeling behind it and be observant of the feeling. Now, we also said it time and again that it generally happens that while observing, we start reacting. We are not able to accept it. We start judging. We are start calling it good or bad. We start you know, uh, either going more and more for it or coming out of it. So all these things may be there. So essentially, this is not what is required in step one. In step one, it is only required to be aware. Aware of my feeling at this moment. So this is a very simple but very important step. And it can make it a routine of life. 
that let us be aware of feeling every moment. Why to talk only of exercise one or two or, or the morning session? I need to be aware of the feeling every moment. If you are able to be aware of your feeling every moment, you will see a shift in your living. Presently, the way you get engrossed in situations, the way you get anxious, the way you get into turmoils, the way you have conflicts inside or you keep on struggling within yourself or with the situation, you'll see that it's not so anymore. You're able to see the feeling. Yes, the feeling may not be acceptable to you naturally, so you'll have to transform it. But all that entanglement with the thought, all that restlessness to come out of the thought, all that will you know, somewhat go away if you are able to observe the feeling, right? Or get reduced. So let us make it a kind of you know, routine of our life that I have to be observant of my feeling every moment. I have to be aware. It's my feeling I am carrying within though I am unaware. And it is here where my happiness or unhappiness is decided. Isn't it? So it is very important for me. So the step one of exercise one is something which is doable every moment. Now, having done this, yes, we can go for evaluation. So first of all, when I observe my feeling as it is, then I also accept it. Yes, this is what is there. I may have some feeling of excitement. I may have some feeling of uh, anxiety. I may have feeling of fear. Whatever. Whatever is there, I observe it and I accept it. Yes, it is there in me at this moment. Then I go further to evaluate it. I try to find it. In the step one, we are not evaluating. In step two, I try to evaluate it. I try to find out whether it is naturally acceptable to me. Okay. In place of justifying or in place of avoiding, in place of analyzing, many times we just keep on analyzing. We keep on churning in our thoughts and we feel that we are evaluating. We are not evaluating then. We are judging. We are merely analyzing. In place of doing all this, I have to evaluate. I have to find out whether it is acceptable to me naturally or not. Whatever be the situation, <clears throat> for this part, I have to be clear to myself. Maybe I am carrying some opposition for the other. Okay. And I am not able to come out of it. I am justifying it also. Because since this person has done so wrong to me, I must do something. How can I simply ignore it? Right. But I am carrying feeling of opposition within. And... If I do not ask myself whether it is acceptable to me naturally or not, I will not be able to make the right program that is given. So many times it so happens that either we are not able to observe the feeling or you know, even if you observe momentarily, then we are engrossed mostly in thoughts and in thoughts we are analyzing and then justifying right, our current state and doing so many things. And that keeps us unhappy all the time. You'll see that if I'm doing all this, I'm unhappy, I'm restless, I'm not comfortable with me all the time. So, in place of doing all this, I have to ask very naturally to me, is this acceptable to me naturally? In other words, is it in accordance with human nature? In other words, would I like to continue with this feeling? Okay. And then you will get to see that you might have a lot of lack of competence, <clears throat> which you had been ignoring. It so happens now many times that we listen to the content in the workshop. We start analyzing it. We start also sharing with others. And then we also start assuming that, yes, I have understood now, which is not the case. When you observe the feeling and evaluate it sincerely, you can see that for so much time in a day, I am having something in me which is not acceptable to me naturally, which makes me unhappy. You also become aware of the situations which make you unhappy because in those situations you are conditioned to get that kind of feeling when somebody confronts you somebody argues with you somebody disobeys you somebody cheats you you get feelings which are not acceptable to you naturally and you somewhat condition yourself to accept that okay let this be this is part of life what i can do about it this is very much going to be there but this is not going to work so at step two, when I find, I, when I ask myself whether my feeling is acceptable to me naturally or not, 
right? I get to know my real estate that, yes, this is it. Maybe for most of the time, my feeling is not acceptable to me naturally. Though I am uh, trying to go by that, I am doing so much of work and behavior in my interaction. But ultimately, within myself, I am restless, I am unhappy because the feeling is not acceptable to me naturally. So in step two, we have to be a little patient to observe this, that yes, this is it. It's not acceptable to me naturally and I need to work upon it. Nice. Uh, my question is, but uh, here in society, we are going to temple or going to railway station. Some classification is there. First class, second class, AC, or uh, in temple special version. Um, why there is a different classification? All people are equal. Then why government or some private concern classified in that stages? See, when we say all are equal, what does it mean? <clears throat> but based on the UHG, we give the rights to all the people, understand the meaning of this. Uh, we don't give the inferiority or superiority complex, all are uh, equal way to treat. No, no, that's what I'm asking. Equal in what terms? In public so places? Uh, see. Hmm. We do not say equal. We are saying similar, first of all. And there is okay. a difference here. Okay. So all are similar. And in what respects? So the purpose, program, potential is the same. Every human being is coexistence of self and body. For every human yes. being, the needs of body are limited. Isn't it? Yes. And when we look at the self, we can see that the purpose, program, and potential is the same. The competence may be different. So we are also accepting the difference in the competence. Now, when it comes to physical facility also, we are, we are saying that needs of the physical facility are limited for every human being, but we are not saying the same. For a child, one kind of facility would be required. For a grown-up, another kind of facility would be required. For an old person, another kind of facility would be required. Now, the problem arises when we try to equate happiness to physical facility. That is the problem. So the solution does not lie in equalizing physical facilities for all. I am here in one part of the country. You are there in another part of the country. How can we say that both the parts of the country are the same? Here there might be scorching sun. There it might be raining. Isn't it? So I will require one kind of facility. You will require another kind of facility. So the point is not to equalize the physical facility. The point is to be able to see that the needs of the physical facility are uh, limited and physical facility is not happiness. Happiness is the need of the self which is fulfilled by right understanding, right feeling. Rest you can you know, let the other person decide. When I'm able to see very naturally that it's not the physical facility which is going to make me happy. So I will not aim for more and more physical facility. When I'm able to see the priority of relationship over physical facility, I will work for relationship first and then you know, fulfill physical facility in such a way that both are fulfilled, me as well as my relating. So that will naturally get taken care of. Now, when you have to travel, mm. right? Yes. And you will opt for facility which is conducive to your health. Now, just try to look at the routine, your daily routine, you know, the way you are uh, taking care of your body. Now there is a laborer there who is working for constructing a house. Now he is having another kind of facility. So the needs of the body you know, in terms of quantity, in terms of variety may be different. We have different roles to play. So the basic point is that happiness is not going to be ensured by physical facility. And when I able to see very clearly that Physical facilities required only for nurturing the body, protecting the body, right, utilizing the body. I'm able to define the need by myself. Why will I eat more than what I require for nurturing my body? Why will I you know, store clothes for me, which are much, much more than what I require for protecting my body? 
or why will i use instruments which are spoiling my health isn't it so the focus is on development of the self that's what we are saying that the whole purpose is awakening of the self if you keep this at the core rest will be taken care of but if you try to keep physical facility at the core then there will be a lot of struggle in the society leading to nowhere is that clear bhaiya okay thank you bhaiya i another question is here yeah. i am trying to translate uh, yoga chit 3 in tamil uh, the powerpoint presentation i am able to translate earlier i have yoga chit 1 and 2 translate nicely but here some difficulty lock is there is it any control in uh, act team control means control mean unable to translate earlier i am translating english and tamil very nicely in this uh, powerpoint itself is it problem in my computer system or controlled by act <laughs> no neither there is some control by act nor there is some problem in the system you have to prepare the glossary first uh, but earlier i have done all the slides within a second i am translating in uh, english and tamil but you with the three i am translating each slide i want to translate then no copy and paste the job is very difficult is it that is why i raised this question no if it is something to do with the skill part like uh, cutting and pasting or inserting some words that we can discuss later but okay thank if, you. If, if you if there are some typical words for which you are not able to get the tamil words that is something that we can explore We okay. Can see Thank you. What would be the possible similar words in the other language? Okay. Nice thing. Thank you. I have shared the, with you one day that uh, both the imagination and the observation are not going simultaneously for me. So it's still happening, but uh, somewhat it is minimized. Uh, but What it imagination is imagination and observation. Yes. Yes, brother. Yes. Yes. that is not going on simultaneously and uh, this is number 1 and number 2 is that <clears throat> in some cases i have seen that if there is some uh, shortage of issues which takes place in university some opposition issues i, I have to i carry this is in my mind for a long time and it actually disturbs me i also have try to analyze it but still i face difficulty Uh, i carry the memories and if something has to do say for uh, after two or three days then also th- that also comes in my mind always so how to resolve this issue by attending morning sessions <laughs> <laughs> see yeah. what you are sharing the first part if you see for example uh, when you try to cook for the first time okay so you'll see that if you are trying to uh, roll the roti huh. then the roti on the tawa gets burnt and if you take care of the roti on the tawa you are not able to roll the roti in the beginning it will all happen but gradually you get accustomed to it you are able to do both the things at the same time isn't mm-hmm. it mm mm-hmm. and somebody is cycling for the first time so either he or she can pedal or steer if one tries to do both the things at the same time then one falls down Mm. but gradually you will be able to cycle very naturally so mm. it's only that you have started observing your imagination now the more you are able to do it you know, precisely with some practice you are able to see that yes imagination is going on every moment and i can see it every moment i am the observer and when you are able to see it from block b1 then this becomes more natural because now the randomness in the imagination has come down so you are also able to see the peace and happiness inside and with that peace and happiness you are able to observe the imagination in a better way so gradually this will happen hmm. and the second thing that you are saying yes we do have so much of turmoil in our thoughts so much of contradiction conflicts and we need to come out of it that's what we are doing this exercise one for hmm. we have to face the basic assumption because of which i get into you know such situations mm. why do i keep a baggage of all these things with me when the incident has taken place it may be the case that i pick some kind of opposition for the other i 
fix some kind of fear within me for that situation. I am not clear. I do not have understanding of harmony. I do not have clarity of relationship. So I have to work for it. And yes. let yeah. me say again that what we are saying here is that we have to enter into that process. The outcome will come naturally. Now, it generally happens now that once we start doing something, we feel as if the outcome should be there with the very next day. It's just like you sow a seed you know, in the soil and you expect the fruit to come out the very next day. That is not going to happen. The tree will take its time to grow and come to fusion. In a similar manner, we are into that process of self-exploration. The outcome will come depending upon our development of competence. So no need mm -hmm. to hurry for the outcome. I have to enter into the process. You have to enter into that process of self-observation. Mm -hmm. You focus on that. Outcome will come naturally. Yes, Bhaiya. Bhaiya, and due to this technological factor, because nowadays we get... <clears throat> We get everything, everything is available for us. And therefore, maybe it happens that our society has become complex, the uh, feelings, the uh, selfishness have aroused us. But whenever we com compare, comparison sometimes comes whenever we think of our father, um, mother. So when they have done their jobs, they are much more peaceful. Uh, they have good memories. They have very good relations with colleagues. They, they are like family members. Means going from going out from home and entering a an university means it is a second home for all of them. The, everything was so simple. But nowadays, gradually, what happens? We cannot understand even the person is sitting next to us. That is a problem. That is a problem. And therefore, everything has, everything, these issues has come up. No, bhaiya? It's not due to technology. Uh, I do remember that during childhood, when there was some uh, competition for extempore or something, no, will be given a topic. Is science a boon or bane? You know? This kind of topic would be given. <laughs> so in a similar manner, we'll see that if you look at technology, it can be boon or a bane. It can be both the ways. It depends on the utilization. So it's not that technology has given us everything. It has given us physical facilities, right? Mm -hmm. Now, for the self, I have to work for right to understand right feeling, which is not going to be ensured by technology. Yes, technology is a help in it. For example, if you look at the technology that we have now <clears throat> in our hand, I'm able to talk to you every day, mm -hmm. which is not possible. And we are also able to see something here on the slide. So mm -hmm. the communication has become so simple. Transportation has become so fast. Mm -hmm. So all those things are there. But I have to rightly utilize them. If I do not utilize rightly, then mm -hmm. I'm going to make myself unhappy. Yes, Bhaiya. So the technology can provide you physical facilities, but the responsibility of utilizing them rightly you know, lies on us. I will also not say that the previous generation was happy and the current generation is not happy. Unhappiness has been there. See, happiness is to do with right understanding, right feeling. It may be the case that you do not have physical facility sufficient mm -hmm. in quantity. So you try to compromise with whatever you have. Yes. It's a relationship but, was much more better earlier days. Wait, 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 wait. But the craving for facilities has been there. Mm -hmm. See, Anna. so it may be the case that you have lack of physical facility, mm -hmm. right? And you try to, anyone, and you try to live by that. But unless you have the right understanding, you have that craving for more and more physical facility. And you can just see, like for example, if I look at this NCR region, if you look at the state of villages 30 years back, okay, they were living in one kind of state. Now, when the government started uh, taking their lands and you know, giving them remuneration, their whole lifestyle has changed. Mm -hmm. So it's not that they had the right understanding and they were living happily. No, they had that craving inside. And you have, if you have the craving inside, hmm. it's not going to ensure happiness. But only that, yes, with limitation of some facilities, you start taking up something which may be more enduring, which may be you know, more comfortable for us. That is fine. Hmm. Now, once I have the right understanding, right feeling, so whatever be the facilities around me, I'm able to make the right choice. For example, if I know that I need only three chapatis 
in mm -hmm. my lunch even if there is a huge trunk you know having hundreds of chapatis why will i go for that mm -hmm. i'll not go for that in a similar man technology has given us facility i'll own only that much is required for me why will i go for the rest and the way we are making the utilization of technology right now you know is a typical example how you can utilize the technology when the workshop we started on the online platform we got connected to the entire nation earlier it was not possible hmm. now we may also get connected to the whole world which was not possible earlier now when hmm. you get connected to the whole world then you have to see how to make you know right utilization of that uh, are we going to talk about problems or we are going to talk about solution hmm. so it's not with the technology it's essentially with the development of competence of the human being it may yes. be the case that we were living with various belief systems earlier hmm. so we are not questioning things now that we have started questioning things we are in turmoil mm -hmm. the children are questioning yes they yes right if you look at your parents you know they used to reconcile with certain things yes yes right so right even if there was injustice in the family they would reconcile with that now mm -hmm. the present generation will not reconcile with that mm -hmm. so yes. living with injustice is not the solution and showing justice mm -hmm. is the solution but reacting to injustice is also not the solution mm -hmm. so the problem is that the current generation has started reacting mm -hmm. in place of so you have to work on that part yes so neither reconciling nor reacting is the solution the previous generation was reconciling the current generation is reacting but we need to respond yes yes bhai yeah. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> nice, nice, Didi. Yeah, uh, one of the incident. I am making a quote uh, to share to differentiate between natural acceptance and acceptance. Uh, in my case, there was an incident uh, around two years back. There was a fraud case, and in that fraud case. Uh, i lost some money but the fraud uh, i do not have any control on the person who did it but what happened since then uh since i do not have any control on that so uh, after two years initially it was very much uh, aggravated but gradually it is reduced nowadays often not uh, uh, as a regular basis but uh, sometimes this comes in my mind uh, about that incident and uh, try, my mind try to find the mistakes or repeating same the things uh, once again once again it is being repeated in my uh, what are that uh, thoughts or um, then uh, since i don't have any control on that uh, for that person particularly but uh, always uh, the that aspect comes in my mind uh, what are the mistakes if i would have not done this mistake this mistake that would have not done so uh, this is i ultimately now it is when i am practicing this uh, i thought it it may be accepted or uh, acceptable uh, not naturally acceptable because getting your point not getting your point yeah. is so, so what so, is the point that you no, no. no this is uh, this incident always comes in mind and raising the issue and trying to identify the mistakes and this these things are being repeated in my mind i am not able to avoid it or drop it mistake on your part yeah 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 yes so this is harping you in your imagination uh, pardon i am saying this is harping you in your imagination it is coming yeah, again yeah. and again ha, ha, so yes, yes. you have to evaluate your competence maybe here. Uh, call we call maybe i may i designate it as a uh, bhutkal ka pida something like that ji ji so you have to evaluate it rightly now you have to look into the feeling here what is the feeling that you get when you have that thought 
Okay. Okay. So maybe some sorrow but feeling. But not very not not very comfortable. Little bit of not uh, creating any uh, disturbance, but uh, some sort of uncomfortable uncomfortable is there. Yeah, like some examples could be not uh, concerning yourself in particular, like because of you, some is happening to place in the family. You know, somebody met an accident yeah. or some even adverse situation came up and you are blaming yeah. yourself all the time. This is what you want to right. share. You are blaming yourself all the time. So you have to look into your competence and then accept that, yes, I was not having that competence at that time. It could also be the case that it was not something to do with your competence exactly. It was due to the physiochemical situations also outside, the surrounding outside. Isn't it? Right. right. And right. then you are blaming yourself for that. So for that, you can see the reality. Maybe okay. somebody made an accident. It was not because of you. Okay. But right. the thing happened just in front of you. Yeah. And you are always blaming that I could have saved that person if I had done this or that. But mm -hmm. the incident that has taken place is because of so many things culminating at the same time. You have to decide your role. Yeah. So you have to see that the outcome of any situation is dependent on so many things. I have to make out my role. Okay. And yes, yes. in my role also, two things are involved. My understanding as well as my skill. Now understanding has to be ensured in completeness. But the skill part can never be complete. Okay. So there would always be some possibility of having such situations the skill part may not be complete on that part okay, so okay. yeah okay. thank thank you very much nice Ria. Yeah. okay sir so many of my friends as well as myself uh, we undergo something called as mom guilt that is like we would like to spend more time and uh, you know spend more time with our children but uh, sometimes due to uh, work pressure, we may not find uh, that much time. But the thing is that uh, our children, they are small, but they misunderstand us. And it's not because uh, we don't love them, but the thing is that they feel it, you know, we are not taking care of them or uh, they don't like us, something like that. So uh, we are trying our best, but sometimes it is too, uh, really hard. Uh, but uh, I think uh, they'll also have that understanding. Uh, I don't know when they'll have that. Okay, it's not. No, it's not that our parents don't love us. It, it's just because of uh, some work and other things. Uh, but how to make them understand uh, how uh, we are dealing with the things, sir? By getting in dialogue with them. See, first of all, you have to decide whether your program is right or not. So, Anna, are you able to make out the need for physical facilities rightly? Are you able to prioritize relationship over physical facility? And there also, are you able to prioritize feeling you know, over expression? Yes. Are you able to give the right understanding the first priority in your life? And you see a similar program for your child also. All these things have to be clear within you, first of all. Yes. Then you can get in dialogue with the child. Okay. And then explain to the child. Okay. See, presently, no, it has to okay. so happen that not in your case, I'm saying, but in general, we okay. can see that families are not able to make out the needs of physical facilities. So they are busy working on physical facilities most of the time. Hmm. They are also trying to see a similar program for their children. So they are making them also busy you know, acquiring more and more skills for physical facilities. And thus, okay. we do not have time for each other, for example. Okay. Right. But when we are able to see that the first priority in life is right understanding, followed by relationship and then physical facility. We are able to give proper time for each. The way you are working for right understanding, the whole family can work. At least we are able to see that program. Now, if the child is sleeping at this hour and you are you know, attending the morning session, then okay. it's not that you are at fault. right? Okay. Both of you can attend together. And then oh. the rest of the 23 hours are going to be spent meaningfully. Okay. Sir. So many times when we say that, am I giving sufficient time to the family? The basic question is, is the family giving sufficient time for right understanding? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. True. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, we may keep 
feeling guilty for all this that i am not giving time here and there right but if the whole family is into the process of self exploration then the location of time will be appropriate and all will be joining together collaborating in all the efforts so True. the whole family can attend the morning session together the whole family can do morning exercise and yoga together the whole family can cook together the whole family can dine together isn't it this yes, is quite sir. possible true yeah. sir thank you thank you so much nice nice didi actually i have one question bhaiya is memory and imagination both are same because uh, uh, when i am i am thinking a form uh, whatever is there in the memory it is coming to my imagination therefore uh, what are all stored in the memory it is coming as imagination or um, imagination memory is different and uh, imagination i am creating or it is there inside that is coming that is one doubt and uh, whether recalling is the activity of self or not uh, because when i think that form uh, for example my father is no more um, but i i am able to see uh, the form of my father all it is stored in my memory whatever has happened from my childhood okay whenever i am thinking about my father even though the self is not there um all it is coming to me um, whatever has happened i am able to think recall whether recalling is the activity of the self uh, that i want to know that is the doubt when i am thinking um, that is uh, when i am observing something uh, i am able to recall something uh, how the self plays the role of recalling whether it is coming under uh, selecting tasting when i am selecting the form it is coming that is the doubt i am getting bhaiya yes so as you shared it is activity of the self only right so when you are re- you are recollecting about your father yes then you have a taste of the moments spent with your father you have selected to uh, remember him you can also analyze various situations which you have spent together and you can also compare which situations were favorable which were unfavorable and you have the feeling of relationship for your father yes If that only you are you know trying to remember him so that is of okay. course happening in the self so memory is basically retention i retain okay. something so i retain something in my imagination also i remain something retain in block b1 also so whatever i come to understand it is there very much all the time right but no longer it is like a burden in the memory in imagination there is a burden burden means i have to carry it and i may miss out after some time when it comes to block b1 it becomes a part of my understanding so it's no longer something that i have to remember it is very much there available to me every moment here you will see that you will gradually lose memory of your father Oh. you are not going to lose anything in your blog b1 isn't it so that difference you can see so it is happening in the self only in your imagination nice thank you thank you pala nice didi yes so bhaiya thank discussion. you ji uh-huh. a good discussion taking place so we are practicing step 2 of exercise 1 so you have to still keep on doing it you see that again here if you try to look into various facets of this step there is lot to explore first of all am i aware of my feeling in step 1 second am i aware what natural acceptance is or i am equating acceptance to natural acceptance do i want the continuity or not if i assume happiness to be excitement so i may see that i may feel that yes i want it naturally why not i meet my friend i feel excited right whether it is acceptable to you naturally yes one may say it is acceptable to me naturally but if you ask yourself do you want the continuity of it then you will say no i don't want this angst this excitement to be continuous so many times we you may assume that excitement is naturally acceptable to you but when you question the continuity then it gets evaluated no it's not something acceptable to me naturally because you know uh, it, 
I do not want the continuity of it. So by asking various questions, we can ascertain for ourselves whether the feeling that I have is my innate nature or not. And if you look at the point from where we started discussing, we are trying to ensure happiness as our innate nature, isn't it? So that innateness has to be clear to us. So this innateness we are trying to locate in step two you know, by evaluating our feeling, by asking oneself whether it is acceptable to me naturally or not. So I can look into the feeling and then decide for myself. And if I'm not able to decide one way, then I will look in multiple ways and try to find out. So what is that which I want in continuity? That is something to be explored. What we are calling as is happiness is not exactly excitement. It may be the case that what you are calling as relationship is not essentially relationship. So all people around me, liking me, you know, favoring me, obeying me, going by me, appreciating me. If this is what I want the continuity for, if this is what is acceptable to me naturally or something else. So when you ask these questions, you are able to also get down to the meaning of natural acceptance. So you have to keep on doing this. I'm evaluating the feeling, the thought that I have at this moment. Is this feeling naturally acceptable to me or not? Is it natural for me or not? You know, that is to say, is it in accordance with human nature or not? Would I like the continuity of this feeling or not? So for example, observe and evaluate when you have the feeling of affection and when you have the feeling of opposition. What would you like to continue? And as you are saying yesterday, that if you do not understand affection, then it may be the case that when you have the feeling of affection, you, know, you accept it naturally. But due to lack of clarity of affection, you go into over-evaluation. And the same feeling of affection now gets changed to opposition. You feel so affectionate for your child right and you ask the child not to watch mobile but go for studies with a feeling of affection the child disobeys you say it one or once or twice the child is still disobeys now you may get opposed to the child isn't it you feel affectionate for the spouse and the moment you are sharing your affection with the spouse the spouse raises some demand you know, for which you might have to do some injustice with someone and you start feeling opposed to the spouse. So you'll see that we may have fluctuation like this in our feeling. Sometimes uh, feeling of affection, sometimes opposition. So we have to make it out rightly. And then see what is acceptable to me naturally. So be aware of the feeling at this moment. Just observe the feeling as it is and simply evaluate it without any reaction. Again, evaluation and reaction are two different things, right? Avoiding some feeling is reaction. Finding out whether it is acceptable to me naturally or not is evaluation. So yeah, if I'm getting opposed and I'm trying to come out of it, this is reacting. But when I'm able to see that this is not acceptable to me naturally, right? And then I'm making some program to transform it further, which will take place further. Then it is the right evaluation. It is the right program to make. Similarly, evaluation and judgment are two different things. Judging something as bad or good, right or wrong, is one thing. Evaluating is to verify at the level of natural acceptance. Similarly, evaluation and analysis is, are two different things. When I'm analyzing, I'm only working at the level of thought, not at the level of value. So gradually, if you try to do this deeper in step two, you are able to get into this fineness, this kind of fineness in your observation, whether I'm evaluating or reacting, whether I'm evaluating or judging, whether I'm evaluating or merely analyzing, what am I doing? Am I verifying at the level of natural acceptance or only labeling it as something? Many times we try to equate to some preconditioning and justify it. So that is also another possibility, whether I'm evaluating or justifying. So many fine points will emerge when you do step two sincerely, as I you know, was mentioning just now. So try to look into all those things. 
am i actually evaluating or i am doing any of these mistakes like reacting judging you know or analyzing or justifying or labeling whatever find it out we have taken some examples yesterday we can take it we can just have a look at it and then we'll discuss it further tomorrow so we have taken some example you are being fixed by someone and you are thinking of taking revenge for two hours and at the end of it you drop the idea now you find out during these two hours you had a feeling of relationship or feeling of position were you comfortable within or uncomfortable within so you can see that you had the feeling of position and it is this feeling which is not naturally acceptable to you it is this with which which makes you uncomfortable now there is a person who has been very helpful to you and you are thinking of doing something good for him find out during this period you had a feeling of relationship or feeling of position were you comfortable or uncomfortable within so we'll discuss this again we'll take some more examples tomorrow but as i was mentioning in our assignment today we can try to articulate it you know what i am doing am i really evaluating or doing something else